Hi, I'm Bob. Let's learn panel data estimation together and do the exercises at the end of Chapter 8, the basic linear panel data models. Panel data is also known as longitudinal data. They are repeated measurements for each individual at different points of time. The fixed effects estimator and the random effects estimator are the most commonly used methods. In the fixed effect model, we obtain the within estimator by mean differencing, first differencing, or using dummy variables. Since we use only the within individual variation, it could be less efficient if there is little variation within the individual over time. However, the advantage of fixed effect estimator is that it allows a specific type of endogenous regressors in the model. If the endogenous regressor is correlated with the time invariant component of the other term and is not correlated with the time varying component of the error term, then the within estimator is still consistent. One drawback of the fixed effect within estimation is that it could not be used to estimate the coefficients of the time invariant variables, since they will be removed from the model when we are using the mean differencing method to obtain the within estimators. The random effect estimator uses both the within individual variation and the between individual variation, so it will lead to a more precise estimate. This is an upside of the random effect estimator. However, random effect estimation has its downside in the sense that it requires stronger assumption that the individual specific effect should not be correlated with the regressors. First, we go to the folder where we want to store all the files using cd command. Then we use our log file to make a full record of the commands we will use and the results. This book use stata 11 and I'm using stata 16. So I include version 11 to ensure that all the codes work. The set screen command is for graphs. We download the data set and use describe command to take a look at the information of the data set. Then use the xtset command to declare we are using a panel data. We can use xtsum command to decompose the total variation into within variation over time for each individual and between variation across individuals. For the time invariant variables, such as the indicators for female and black, the within variation would be zero because there's no variation within individual over time. The female person will stay female status over time. The xttab command provides additional details on the within and between variation of a variable. The overall summary shows that 49% of all the individual year observations were knocked in a blue collar occupation and 52%
were in the blue collar occupation. The between summary indicates that of the 595 workers, 58% of the workers chose white collar occupation at least once, and 59% of the workers chose blue collar occupation at least once. So about 18% of the workers chose blue collar occupation at some time and white collar occupation at another time. The within summary indicates that 84% of the workers were always in the white collar occupation and 86% of the workers were always in the blue collar occupation. The XT Chance command provides transition probability from one period to the next. About 95% of the observations ever in the blue collar occupation for one period remain in the same occupation for the next period. Then we use the XT line command to draw a time series plot of experience variable. For the first 10 observations, the years of work experience have linear relationship with time. Next, we draw a scatter plot of log wage against education. We can save the graph using graph export command. And I use xt sum command again to take a look at the between variation and within variation of log wage and education. Education is time invariant. There is no variation within individual over time. In the second question, we manually obtain the overall standard deviation between standard deviation and within standard deviation of log wage. For the overall standard deviation, we use summarize command. We store the overall standard deviation in scalar SDO. For the within standard deviation, we first calculate the mean for each individual. The by sort ID command tells Stata to calculate the mean for each ID. Then we can generate the mean differencing log wage variable for each observation. After summarizing the mean differencing variable, we can obtain the within standard deviation. Finally, we use the mean log wage for each individual to calculate the between standard deviation. You can also add the overall mean to each individual mean to calculate the between standard deviation.
you can also store the between standard deviation in a scalar. We can list these three standard deviations and verify that the overall variance is approximately equal to the sum of the 15 variance and the between variance. For question 3, we use xtred command for panel data with the option population averaged PA to calculate the population averaged estimator. There are different options to specify the correlation of the error term. We can use independent to indicate there is no correlation within individual over time. Exchangeable means the correlation over time is identical for each individual. We can also assume an autoregressive process of the error term after saving the result for each model we can use estimate table to compare those results if we try to fit the model with no structure placed on the error correlations the data tells us that convergence not achieved in question 4 we learn how to obtain the within estimator manually by using regress command. We need to calculate the transform variable and use the transform model. We use global macro list to store the variables. We use the for each command in the loop. The individual mean can be calculated by using by id prefix followed by each n. Then we calculate the mean differencing variable for each observation. The estimates from the transform model are identical to the estimates from the panel data fixed effect model. Thank you very much for watching this video.